It's time to get started with a look at the world through the eyes of Ireland's global gladiators. Let's meet the first four nominees in the international category. From Malaysia to Mexico, Kieran O'Connor's Freightwatch Group are providing security for high-value shipments, manufacturing facilities, and even airports. Their latest service uses covert technology to keep a watchful eye on shipments 24-7. Challenges, in my view, are always something that need to be taken on. If you want to succeed, you can. If you believe in something, you go and do it and you can succeed. Entrepreneurs don't believe that they can fail. They have a vision to deliver something and without looking at the consequences of how they're going to get there, they actually go forward towards it. Excellent companies don't believe in excellence. Excellent companies believe in constant change and improvement. From the reclamation of industrial sites to protecting groundwater with their geomembrane installations, Michael Flynn's Green Gladiators are in a field of their own. His company, FLI Environmental, is a European leader. Many people like the comforts, like to know where they're going to be tomorrow, where they're going to be a year from today. You don't know where you are from minute to minute or hour to hour in, in, uh, in your own business, which is good at, at times. but scary at other times, but that's, that's the life. Uh, I see myself creating something bigger for everybody involved with me in business, not just me. And just setting goals and going after them and hope, hopefully achieving them. Falling over a few hurdles on the way, but you know, getting up, dusting yourself off and moving on. From Emmyvale, County Monaghan, Silver Hill Foods has established a world-beating enterprise. 80,000 ducks a week are processed, with most going for export. The secret of Stuart Steele's success has been the company's own unique breed of duck. I like the fact that Silver Hill is surviving and actually growing, uh, apparently a very high-cost economy. We're a low-volume producer, but we're the highest quality you can. So we're always told it's impossible, so that's what actually gets me going, being told it's impossible and then doing it. What we'd be particularly proud about is the fact that um, Silver Hill has been grown by a great bunch of people and that's what we're most proud to be associated with, doing it naturally, doing it the hard way, but succeeding in doing it. From football scores to FTSE results, Changing Worlds gives mobile users fast, efficient and personalised access to mobile content. Barry Smith's UCD company has 140 million potential customers worldwide. I think it's, it's the, the lifelong learning thing that has always been um, part of, of what gets me up in the morning and whether it's with my academic hat on learning about new science or whether it's with my entrepreneur hat on. Maybe for entrepreneurs, they're most comfortable when they're least comfortable. You know, there's this, there's this paradox, you know, we like pressing against the edges of the areas that we're working in. So whether you win or lose, it's whether you win, right? <laughs> turning aspiration into inspiration. They place people first and give credit where credit is due as they ride the ebb and flow of business cycles. Finding the right job has become a career goal for CPL's Anne Herity. Her recruitment company finds the perfect fit for 20,000 people every year in sectors like IT, medical and financial. It's an inner sense of direction you have. I suppose some of it comes from your background, pulling on maybe your past successes and failures and learning from that. I like to focus on a goal and I really like to achieve that goal. And I like to see other people achieving their goals as well. So I suppose the thing I've learned is that by working um, with people and by helping people get good results, then equally I can end up getting good results as well. After 30 years working in the bank, Brian Connolly realised that credit card payments in multiple currencies could be processed on one platform. Last year, his company Omnipay handled more than 240 million credit card transactions. Human nature demands that, that people like to be recognised amongst their peers, but it doesn't matter as much as having brought the business to the state it's at at the moment. When you've been around the block as many times as I have, there's lots of stuff you learn from lots of people, some good, some bad. The adage that I, that I try to, to live to is to treat others as you would be treated yourself, you know. So if you, if you go through life, go through life 
generally do not. You'd probably make more good calls than bad calls, you know. There has been no backpedalling for Chris Watson since he conquered the online market. His company, Chain Reaction, is the largest independent retailer of bicycle parts in the UK and Ireland and has shipped orders to more than 100 countries worldwide. Focus on what you think you're good at. You know, listen to advice from other people and uh, take your own interpretation from that. You know, try not, I guess, to copy you know, what other people have done and, and try and find your own unique way of doing things. Within the industry, there are companies and what have you are larger than us, um, so you do kind of strive to make yourself you know, the best uh, at what you do, um, but we've always tried to strive out and you know, strike our own pattern really with it, and that's what's been successful for us. There's no point really in, in, in settling for, for being an all right company. You know, we would obviously look to employ more people and to grow you know, as quickly as we can, simply because you want to drive it as far as you can. If you're talking textbooks or talking websites, then you're probably talking text help. Martin Mackay's County Antrim software company has become a market leader with its award-winning literacy tools which are helping more and more people to learn to read. Don't let your resources limit your decisions because you could be low on resources like money or time or whatever and if you let that impact your decision making you'll not make a good long-term decision. If you fear failure you'll never start so uh, and you know a percentage of the things that you try are going to fail you just got to uh, you know, uh, you're going to fail a few times. You've just got to fail and get on with it, learn from it, and uh, get up and go on. Now to announce the winner of the international category, please welcome to the stage Robert Gallagher of Ulster Bank. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Irish business leaders have built phenomenal businesses in Ireland and overseas. And that's due to great persistence and a huge entrepreneurial endeavour. And to all the entrepreneurs in the room, I'd like to say well done. The winner of the International Entrepreneur of the Year is Anne Herity of CPL. <laughs> Herity founded CPL Resources in 1989 and floated it a decade later. Today she oversees a thriving group of eight specialist recruitment companies, showcasing an entrepreneurial instinct that hugely impressed the judging panel. I might just say a few words now, is that it? Look, I'm delighted to accept this reward on behalf of the team and CPL. I think anyone who knows the CPL story will know that it's not the story of any single individual, but the story of a team of individuals who are, have come together to form a great company. And I'm delighted to accept the award on their behalf. Um, I'd also like uh, to thank my husband Paul, who's right beside me there all the time in CPL for his encouragement and support constantly. Um, and I'd like to also thank Ernest and Young for the fantastic experience and, and the other sponsors, Ulster Bank and Enterprise Ireland and Intertrade Ireland and Invest Northern Ireland. It's been just a fantastic experience meeting with my fellow entrepreneurs, travelling to China with them, the CEO retreat. I've learned an incredible amount uh, and I just want to thank all my fa fellow entrepreneurs as well. Thank you very much. So, first blood to Anne Herity of CPL. Formless congratulations to Ireland's International Entrepreneur of the Year.